Hey there everybody, Mike Hopkins here, Apostolic Tech Guy. Wanted to talk briefly about technology, just in general. It's not so much a specific technology uh, video, in fact it may end up being uh, classified as a rant, but uh, I'd like to address something that I, I tweeted about earlier today and uh, wanted to go a little more in-depth in a video. I've heard it said several times that some technology are tools or devices of the enemy, um, Facebook, uh, internet, video, uh, and I'm not going to dispute that. I don't know one way or another how that happens in the in the spiritual realm, well, the, where those things came from, um, and I don't really care. What I would like to to point out is that these are powerful weapons in spiritual warfare. Uh, Facebook, Twitter. Um, YouTube, all of these various social medias and all of these underlying technologies, uh, mobile platforms, you know, we've got smartphones that are literally connecting millions and millions of people all the time. We've got iPads and various tablets, the internet and computers, streaming video, um, Skype, you know, just all of these various technologies that that are, are so prevalent in our, in especially in our society in North America today. And there's no doubt that they're powerful spiritual weapons. Now the question is, should we use them and how should we use them? Uh, how should we use, or um, as, as far as the question of should we use them, uh, let, me, let me ask a question, propose a, a scenario. Let's say in World War II, if Nazi Germany had invented weapons that we had not yet invented, uh, would we have just stood back and said, well, that's invented by them and so we're not going to use it. Of course not. We would have immediately reverse engineered that technology. Uh, we would have made our own weapons to combat that weaponry. Just as David pulled the sword from Goliath's belt and cut the giant's head off with it, so should we use to any technology that's presented, any weapon that's presented that we can use in spiritual battle, we should use it. Um, and if you think that you can't have an impact on your world in Facebook and Twitter, well, let me tell you, I'll give you another scenario. Uh, U.S. Army Special Forces, when they were first created uh, decades ago, they were originally kind of called or known as the Green Berets, uh, and they had really six tactical missions that they had uh, to work with. And I'm not going to go into all of those, but part of it, when they were working with insurgents and when they worked with insurgents in foreign lands to train them and that sort of thing, they're not sure what kind of weapons they're going to have. Uh, they could be native weapons. They may have uh, a mishmash of weapons available for guerrilla armies in, in foreign lands. They have to be, literally have to be weapons experts. They have to know all of these different weapons, how to disassemble them, put them back together, use them, um, fire them, and, and all, the, all the different incarnations of these weapons, they have to understand and they have to know them. They literally have to be weapons experts. If we're going to be uh, kingdom-minded, spiritual, warfare-oriented apostolics. We have got to be in tune with the weapons that are available to us. And we've got to be weapons experts to use those to, to full advantage. Uh, obviously, I'm an advocate of responsible use. Any weapon can be used for the wrong purposes, but weapons can be used for the right purposes as well.